Good evening, everyone. So good evening. Welcome to our UNC Health Blue Ridge Cancer Center's open house celebration. My name is Drew Thomas. I serve as the Chief Ambulatory Officer here at UNC Health Blue Ridge. And we are very excited that you could be here on this momentous occasion. Tonight's celebration will feature some brief remarks followed by the official ribbon cutting ceremony. Then we'll, inside, we'll invite you inside to see our beautiful facility for a tour and refreshments. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Kathy Bailey, our President and CEO of UNC Health Blue Ridge. Thank you, Drew, and wow, I think everybody in Burke County is here tonight. <laughs> that is phenomenal. Drew, you're right, this evening is exciting. It's exciting for our community, for our patients, and for UNC Health Blue Ridge. This new center will allow us to continue to meet the needs of our patients and continue to, pro to provide the highest quality of care. I can't tell you how proud I am of the construction crew, our board of directors, and senior leaders for their unwavering support throughout this process. But I'd also especially like to thank the Cancer Center staff for putting their heart into every part of this facility. This Cancer Center is a reflection of you. It is warm, it is welcoming, and it is ready to provide treatment and comfort for those who need it. This new Cancer Center is a tribute to the generosity and the commitment of our board, of our foundation, and of our friends and neighbors. It will stand as a reminder of the determination to care for one another and the commitment to share hope with those we serve. So thank you all for taking time out of your very busy schedules to celebrate this momentous occasion with us, and it is a celebration. Our next speaker is no stranger to UNC Health Blue Ridge as he has served on our board of directors for many years, but now in a new role. So please welcome Jeff Carswell, the new chairman of the UNC Health Blue Ridge Board of Directors. Again, wow, look at the people, look at the support from the community and we wanna thank everyone for your attendance. It is truly overwhelming. And from the board, you know, I represent them, but you represent all of us. So thank you very much for that. Um, my part in this is twofold, to welcome you as far as from the board, but also they asked me to tell you a little story. And that little story uh, is about me. Um, unfortunately, you know, I was diagnosed with cancer about 10 years ago. Um, pancreatic cancer. They said you got about a year, you know. So, with Dr. Jones, Dr. Salvador, you know, uh, all of the staff here, you know, it's been an adventure and a journey. And when I say a journey, the journey includes, you know, the staff. The journey includes your family. The journey includes, you know, your friends, your neighbors, you know, and the support you get from them, and knowing that you have this type of facility here now. You know, I have been used to going on the other side. So now I can come to this side and go in this entrance. Uh, and unless you've been to other places, you know, which unfortunately I have, you know, as far as poor care, this facility is phenomenal. State of the art, I have been through it. You know, uh, I hope you never have to use it but I hope you know that the quality of care that's available now and what will be here and be available for you is next to, to anything that you can find anywhere. So the board is especially thankful for prior members of the board, prior people that have made this commitment and this investment in our community. So we thank you for being here and I thank you for all the support that you've given, you know, our hospital system for many years. Thank you for your coming. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Carswell, and congratulations on being named Chairman of our Board of Directors. I think I speak for everyone when I say good luck on your battle with cancer. We wish you the best. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Greg Jones, our radiation oncologist, up to the podium for a few words. Dr. Jones. Thank you. Thank you, Drew. Yeah, now I can see the whole crowd. The new cancer center has been years in the planning, and now we'll be able to unite both ends of oncology here in a central location under one roof with a common purpose to care for our patients. The staff here is cohesive, dedicated, and compassionate about our patients. As I've said before, this is a mission and a ministry to each one of us. I'm thankful to be here today to help open this wonderful facility, and I'm humbled by the history and innovation that's taken place here. We couldn't do this alone, it takes a large team, and I would like to share this moment with Dr. Salvador. Thank you. So everyone has been touched by cancer at one point or another, at some point in their lives. Everyone. There are no exceptions. We have come a long way in treating cancer, even curing some of them, but we still have a long way to go. As we stand before in this beautiful center, we have a lot of things to thank for. We, can, we have a lot of things to thank for, especially our, uh, our hospital system is financially viable and caring enough to donate and invest $38 million into this facility. From my standpoint, it is worth every penny. A beautiful facility staffed with the best nurses and personnel will go a long way into helping calm an anxious person. And that's what our patients need. We need this especially to open their hearts and minds to heal. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jones and Dr. Salvador. This cancer center is amazing, and I look, or I'm excited to look for you guys to get to see it this afternoon, but none of this would be possible without our teammates and our physicians. <clears throat> from the very beginning, from the design to the rocks that were laid at the foundation. So if you would, please join in giving our teammates and our physicians a round of applause. For our closing remarks, I'd like to ask John Mercer, our Chief Operating Officer, to come up. Thank you, Drew. And thank you all for coming tonight. It is absolutely gratifying to see so many people take an active interest in your hospital. As you will soon see, this facility is amazing. It's big. It's bright. It has many touches to make our patients feel at home while getting expert care from our fantastic doctors and teammates. I'd like to thank our architects, our contractors, and our very own Deanne Avery and her staff for all the hard work they put in over the last year. And thank you all for coming, especially our city and county representatives. Without your dedication and great support, we wouldn't be here today. At this time, I will turn the ceremony over to our chamber president, Tanya Stevenson, for the official ribbon cutting ceremony. to be here today. Um, I get to be known as Scissors Lady in this county because we get to do ribbon cutting so often, but rarely do I have this kind of crowd at my ribbon cuttings. So y'all come on out every time we have one because it's great to have you all here. Um, just as you've already heard, what a beautiful facility. And not just a beautiful facility, but there are so many little details that care about the patients. 
and I think that that's what UNC Health Blue Ridge has always been about, is about how we can take care of the patients. And I'm so thankful that I live in a community with this organization that's going to take care of any one of us who might need their services. Of course, we hope we don't need the services, but when we do, y'all are going to be blown away when you see the inside of it. And I'm so thankful for the partnership that we have with UNC Health Blue Ridge. So thank you, Kathy, your whole team. It's just amazing that we get to work together. Before we do our cutting of the, the ribbon, I'd like to call up the Mayor of Valdez, the Honorable Charles Watts. I don't know about the honorable part. <laughs> wow, like Mr. Cardinal said, wow. I've, I've been on the tour of the building and it's phenomenal. Another thing, it's not in my speech and, and people cringe when I say, well, I'm not gonna talk about this right now. I look out here and I see so many people from different walks of life, different involvements, government, community, construction, inspections, and if you'll look at each person next to you, you'll see another person that made this possible. All of us working together. Uh, I spoke when we had the uh, opening for the construction, and one of the statements I made was working together, continuing forward. Well, folks, this is it. This is what it's all about. Uh, before I start, I want to recognize my council members that are present today. Mayor Pro Tem Frances Hildebrand. Most of y'all know her because she works here. <laughs> Rexanna Lawman, Paul Mears, Tim Barrows, and our town manager Seth Eckert. I'm honored to be here today to celebrate the opening of the new UNC Health Blue Ridge Cancer Center. It's a wonderful and exciting time for us in Valdez and in Burke County and in Western North Carolina. And I'm glad I can share these exciting times. And UNC Healthcare is an important member of our community. They're not just an innovative leader, but they're also part of our community. They're like our neighbors. This cancer center will not only provide our residents with better access to care, but it will also bring new jobs, new neighbors, new economic opportunities to our community, to Valdez, and to Burke County. Having lost a loved one and a dear friend to cancer, I know firsthand that cancer is a difficult disease, not just for the patient, but for the families as well. And I'm impressed that that aspect of that disease has been addressed in the new cancer center. I'm confident that this cancer center will provide our residents with the support and care that they need. I'm grateful to everyone who has made this possible, and I'm excited to see what the future holds for our community. In addition to these points I've already mentioned, I would like to add that this new cancer center is a symbol of hope. A symbol of hope for our community fighting cancer and letting folks know that we will not give up hope until a cure for cancer is found. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Watts. Now I'd like to recognize the Chairman of our Burke County Commissioners, Mr. Scott Mowey. It's tough to follow up Charlie's remarks, Jeff's remarks, um, y'all did a great job. And Tony, as you said, I, I've done a lot of ribbon cuttings for you. Wow, this is unbelievable. The hospital really knows how to put on the show, especially since the last, uh, last one was at the Morgan campus, uh, Kathy. And I will say that building may be, I don't know how, how tall it is, 200 feet tall, but this is just as impressive after going through the tour. Um, when you look at your team members out here, and as I, I'm gonna reiterate some of the statements I made at the Morgan campus, you have world-class people that work for you. They, are under, they undergo world-class training. 
and they're only as good as the equipment and the facilities they have to use that's accessible to them. You have made over $150 million between the two campuses commitment to Burke County. Um, when I look at your organization, I see it that it, it mirrors uh, our Burke County organization because we're laser focused on customers and clients just like you are. We're laser focused on making sure our our team members have the best equipment and facilities at their disposal and keep that 20-year vision. And that's what you have done here today. Once again, you have a vision that looks not in the next three to five years, but you're looking 20 to 25 years down the road. And I, I shared with uh, Kathy and John just when we when we uh, first got here, Laura and I to take a quick tour and um, talking about personal we before Laura and I went on our trip about three weeks ago, we had a close uh, family member just diagnosed with cancer and actually uh, and told Dr. Jones this, but they will be coming to see Dr. Jones tomorrow. And it actually makes my wife and I feel immensely better to have this facility in our backyard to get world-class treatment from world-class doctors and, 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 and staff and have an access to equipment that I can't even pronounce in there that is unbelievable. And one good thing is, I will say, as you all saw, when you're in there, if you're with a patient, the AC does work. So whoever put in the air conditioning unit, thank you, you did a phenomenal job. Um, but uh, I do want to say, uh, before I go, I want to recognize some of my commissioners. I can see Commissioner Burns in the back, he kind of stands out. Commissioner Parswell's uh, over here, and uh, Commissioner Jeff Britton, he's our vice chair, is in, I'm not sure if Phil Smith is here. But uh, most of our commissioners are here. Um, we're here to support you. We work with you in many ways through uh, emergency services, health department, and, and uh, we cooperate greatly. We've had a great relationship for many years. We look forward to continuing that great relationship. And as I said before at the last ribbon cutting, um, our motto at Burke County is all about advancing. And that's exactly what you are doing here today. So thank you for including us, and uh, thanks again for everyone coming out. Pretty amazing crowd. Thank you, Scott. I'd like to recognize a few of our elected officials that are in the, the audience. I hope I don't miss anybody, but um, we are on the Valdez campus, but we are surrounded by Rutherford College, and we have the Honorable Mayor Gates Jensen with us. Thank you, sir, for being here. Thank you for sharing your space with Valdez in the hospital. Uh, we also have, if you don't mind, hold your applause because this may get long. We've got a lot of people here. Uh, we also have with us from the office of Senator Warren Daniel, Miss Lydia Daniel. Y'all would raise your hand when I call you. She's back in there. Uh, we have from the office of Senator Tom Tillis, Miss Robin Ramsey. We have from the office of Senator Ted Budd, Tyler Teresa. Um, from the city of Morganton, we have Mayor Ronnie Thompson. We have council, uh, well, we have Mayor Pro Tem, Wendy Cato, and then we have council members Butch McSlane and Chris Hawkins. We also have with us um, my good friend from the Caldwell Chamber of Commerce, which this facility is a member of that chamber, Mr. Brian Moore. Thank you for coming down this way and, and joining us today. Uh, did I miss any other elected officials? I was trying to, oh, who did I miss? Drexel, thank you, sir, for being here. We appreciate your, your coming. I also get the pleasure of having wonderful board members, and I haven't seen but a couple of them in the audience, but this is a big audience. I want to thank Danette Brackett with the hospital uh, as being a board member, and Mr. Louis Vina, who is also with the city of Morgan, and uh, Louis has a little presentation to make.
Thank you, Louie. And now is the time that you've all been waiting for. And I say this at every ribbon cutting, so I'm going to say it again. Be patient with us because we got to get good pictures. So we're going to get set up for the ribbon cutting. So um, I would like to ask uh, if you would please come to the front and join us. All the senior leaders, hospital board members, cancer center staff, board members of the Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Jensen, would you please join us? Of course, Charlie and Scott and our county commissioners and other members of Valdez Council, City Council, Town Council. That would all join us here up front and we're gonna cut this big ribbon. Thank you, Tanya, and thank you all for being a part of this historic day. Please now join us inside for tours and refreshments. Thanks so much.